Hey guys, welcome to a special episode of BRG TV. We're all uh, in the office today getting a, a jump start on the week. Uh, but today we wanted to give you a little insight into the life of Clay Burris, so stay tuned. So where did my journey in real estate begin? Well, I actually started back in 2005, right after college. Um, I began my career in new construction sales because I had just built a house myself and thought it was a fun process. So um, that, that's what got me interested in it. So uh, from there, I worked at a couple of different home builders um, over the course of about four and a half years. I uh, was able to sell hundreds of homes and, and be successful um, and really found a, a niche in the industry. Um, at that point though, I was getting tired of being in the models all weekend um, and being not having the same days off as, as my lovely wife. So. Um, decided to take a shift uh, in the industry at that point and uh, go do mortgages, uh, which I was lucky to work with some awesome people at Fairway Mortgage for a couple years. Uh, just wasn't ultimately my cup of tea. Um, so the next transition was to get my real estate license. And uh, you know, almost nine years later, here we are, um, right here at Century 21 Sheets and excited to have uh, an awesome team um, around me now. Favorite sport? Um, I like a lot of sports, um, but I guess my favorite is basketball. Um, I've loved basketball ever since I was a little kid. I played it growing up and uh, love watching it still today. Um, probably the better question is, is favorite sports teams? Um, big Colts fan. Uh, my wife and I are season ticket holders. Uh, we love going to all the games. We've, we've had season tickets since uh, Lucas Oil Stadium opened. Um, so good, bad uh, seasons. We've, we've been kind of through them all over the, the last decade or so. Uh, but we love watching the Colts on Sundays and tailgating with our friends. Um, also a big Pacers fan. Uh, I try to get to several of those games a year and watch most of them on TV. Uh, where I derail from most people here in Indiana is when we get to the college level. Um, I'm actually a Duke fan in basketball, so uh, I get a lot of flack for that uh, here in Indiana. And then uh, in college football, I'm actually a Michigan fan, uh, which also gets, as you can imagine, a lot of flack here in, in Indiana. And from my own teammate, Zach, who uh, apparently is an Ohio State fan, as we found out on his video, uh, that was breaking news to me. So we're working through that as we go. Um, but I, to sum it up, I love all sports um, except baseball. Uh, favorite music? Um, uh, another great question. Um, I really like most all kinds of music, except country. Uh, sorry, I know that's probably not good here in Indiana again, but uh, that's really the one I, I just can't get on board with. My wife loves it. Um, she makes me go to one concert um, of it every year, so I, I tolerate that um, for her. But ultimately, um, I love going to a lot of shows. Uh, we're big Dave Matthews fans. We try and go to that every year. Um, any rock alternative show from the 80s, 90s, uh, you can find me at Ruoff most of the time. Uh, favorite food? Um, I really like a lot of food. Um, I, I don't know if you'd call me a foodie necessarily, but we enjoy going out to restaurants um, and trying all kinds of different things. I guess if there's a favorite, it's Mexican. Um, I could probably eat tacos every day of the week. So um, that, that's probably definitely the favorite, uh, but we like uh, trying all kinds of new restaurants all around Indy. Uh, it's one of our favorite things about Indy versus uh, where we grew up in Evansville is, is there's just a ton of restaurant options that we haven't even explored yet. And we've lived here, um, you know, since 2004. So uh, I'll always new restaurants to try and I always love going in and trying out uh, new things. Uh, favorite vacation. Um, we love to travel. My wife and I, that's been a passion of ours since we've been married. Um, we've been fortunate enough to uh, have gone lots of places, mostly before our son was born, but um, we, uh, we did a lot of overseas traveling to Europe. Um, Europe's one of our favorite spots. Um, so uh, where is our favorite over there? It's kind of hard to say because there's such unique uh, destinations each time. Um, but it, Italy was great for all the history. Uh, we actually love Switzerland and southern Germany just for you know hiking in the, in the Alps and just the scenery. Uh, we, we've been to Ireland as well, which was more of a sitting in pubs with the locals and that was a fun trip too. Um, we've been to you know the all-inclusive resorts in the Caribbean and Mexico, uh, which are all great relaxing getaways. Uh, probably the most relaxing trips that we've been on 
just because you know you don't have to worry about money once you get there everything's everything's taken care of so those are always fun uh, nowadays we do um, a couple of trips a year uh, one more family oriented and and, um, and and an adult trip is, is our goal um, we went to Disney last year for the first time with rice um, and it actually blew me away um, I, I didn't know what to expect I thought he would have a great time but I didn't know that I would too and I was thoroughly impressed and actually can't wait to go back again sometime. Uh, life outside of real estate, um, really, you know, it revolves around my family first and foremost. Um, my beautiful wife, Ashley, and our uh, six-year-old son, Bryce. Um, I spend, obviously, a lot of time with them. Uh, it's been fun seeing Bryce grow up over the course of the last six years and uh, how interactive and, and funny he is now. So I enjoy doing that. We, we enjoy being social with uh, our group of friends. Um, I secretly love ping pong and, and bowling. Uh, as well. So if anybody's up for a good challenge, let me know. Well, hopefully you learned something new about me today. Um, I love being in real estate. I love working with our clients and, and making a lot of friends in this industry. Um, I'm super excited about what 2020 has to hold for not only me, hopefully as an individual, but also uh, the growth of our team. Um, and hopefully we can bring some great service to you or, or your friends and family this year.